Uh, any any signals from extraterrestrial intelligence today we should know about? No, not yet. Not yet, but you're you're alert, right? Yes, I am. This is a live video feed from the Hackwick Observatory. It's an array of uh, 42 dishes. Uh, they can all be remotely controlled by computer. Okay, and then hit return. Let's see what happens. So there it goes. Yes. And what's some of what you've been working on? I've been recording sounds around New York, Pennsylvania, and California. This is door squeaking. Human laughing. <laughs> We're at the SETI Institute about to record crows. Okay, now what do you see? I see a crow. <laughs> the crow is making this cracking sound. I would put the sounds in a sequence to tell the story, like how the ocean started, send the sound of rain falling on the ground. Then it fills up. Maybe a stream or a uh -huh. river. And then you hear the ocean waves. I hear there's a project to collect proposed sounds to send out into outer space from children all over the world. Can you tell me about that? Children are sending their pictures, their sounds, or typing in or writing their messages. We're just compiling them for right now. So what do you think of the Rebus idea of putting sounds together to form some kind of sentence? I, I think that's excellent because the sounds by themselves tell you which creatures exist and which machines exist, but when you use the Rebus, you can tell a story and that's very important. And I got to see the golden plate for the golden record on the Voyager 1 and 2. Oh my gosh, really? Yep. What have you learned from the scientists there? I mean, do, do they think there's life out there? Yes, they expect a response in 20 to 30 years. 20 they... to 30 years? You'll be around for that, won't you? Yes. How is the message going to get here? Well, I mean, the message is going to be a radio wave, right? It's just a radio broadcast. Narrow band? Well, probably, we look for narrow band, that just means it's at one spot on the dial, of course, mm -hmm. because, you know, that's, way, that's the way we can tell that it's really an alien transmitter and not just something out in space that naturally makes radio noise, so, yeah. Okay. What planets do you think would ha have intelligent life, or what moons? I think we're likely to find life on Mars, and maybe even in the oceans under the ice of Jupiter's big moon Europa. I don't think we're going to find intelligence in our solar system. But I think it's a, quite possible that we might find it on planets around some other star. I want you to go to earthspeaks.seti.org. Send in your sounds, pictures, messages, and we'll maybe send them into space. I want to know.